He sounds much taller. Memoirs of a Radio Pirate, written and read by Dave Cash. Here's a brief history of my very early life. Through Clara, a woman twice my age and twice as sexy as any of my same age girlfriends, I discovered radio. I listened to it non-stop and I wanted to be on it. Screw uni, I'm gonna be a DJ. In December 1964, a telegram arrived. It said, I'll take no excuses. Get yourself home to England. And it's all happening on pirate radio. We all listen and they need your help. I repeat, get yourself to England. It started with an Irishman sticking two fingers up at the English establishment. Ronan O'Reilly founded Radio Caroline, the first real British pirate radio station. If it's right and there's money to be made, go for it. Others followed and within two years over half the population of the UK listened to pirate radio. It seemed everybody wanted to be part of this radio revolution. I felt happy inside a radio station. I felt at home. We were treated like pop stars, which was not only unprecedented for disc jockeys, but also difficult to handle, as we thought of ourselves not as celebrities, but as radio rebels. I had tried, dabbled, experienced, whatever you want to call it, with drugs since early 1967. As pirates, we felt invincible. We were at the top of our form, and we loved it. We were given exclusive plays on several major UK and American acts. We had changed British broadcasting forever, and we were proud of our achievement. So, there you have it. Not very exciting and very short-lived. I dabbled, I took doctor's advice, and to this day I still enjoy a Jack Daniels. I mean, how much soya milk can one man drink? See you later, alligator. Thank you.